segue, respectful greetings, everyone. If you're watching this video, it means you stayed with us throughout the entire course. Ha home, thank you. We hope that this course provided you with examples of how indigenous people's advocacy changed the institution of the United Nations. In this course, we looked at ways for indigenous peoples to engage with the UN and make their voices heard. Whether you are an indigenous person or an ally to indigenous peoples, we encourage you to learn about and make use of these platforms. They are the outcome of a, of a movement that started almost a century ago, an international movement for inclusion and the recognition of basic human rights. In this short video, I'd like to leave with you a few summary points and some main ideas that we hope you'll take away from this course. What UN document outlines the rights of indigenous peoples? The UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples is an essential instrument outlining the rights of indigenous peoples. Its adoption in 2007 was the result of three years of consistent advocacy by indigenous peoples and organizations. The declaration outlines rights that constitute the minimum standards for the survival, dignity, and well being of the indigenous peoples of the world. What are the main UN bodies that address indigenous peoples' issues? There are three UN bodies whose task it is to address the indigenous peoples' issues. These are the UN Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, the Expert Mechanism on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, and the Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. What is the UN Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues? The UN Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, or the UNPFII, is the main interface between indigenous organizations and the United Nations. It was created 20 years ago to raise awareness about and advise the UN on indigenous issues. Its task is to make sure that the principles of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples are applied. Every spring, the Permanent Forum brings together indigenous peoples, states, UN bodies, and non-governmental organizations to discuss the most pressing issues concerning indigenous peoples. These include economic and social development, human rights, culture, the environment, education, health, and many more. If you're an indigenous representative, you can bring an issue, concern a recommendation to the forum by preparing a three minute intervention to share during the session of the forum. What is the expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous peoples? The expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous peoples or MRIP advises the Human Rights Council on the rights of indigenous peoples and conducts studies to advance the promotion of these rights. It also helps countries achieve the goals of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. In practical terms, the experts supporting the mechanism analyze key principles and good practices, assess how they affect Indigenous peoples, and suggest measures that states can adopt. Each year, the expert mechanism holds a five-day session that's open to representatives from states, indigenous peoples and organizations, civil society, intergovernmental organizations, and academia. If you're an indigenous representative, or if you're working on indigenous rights, we strongly encourage you to explore how to engage with the mechanism. You may attend the meeting, contribute to the studies conducted by the experts, or become an expert. Indigenous peoples might be eligible for funding from the UN Voluntary Fund for Indigenous Peoples to attend the NREP. What is the role of the Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples? Indigenous peoples are still dealing with the consequences of historical colonization territorial invasion and discrimination. The International Indigenous Peoples Movement has done so much over the years to bring these issues to the table. One important result of this advocacy 
was the appointment of a special rapporteur on the rights of indigenous peoples by the Commission on Human Rights. The special rapporteur is a powerful advocate for indigenous communities worldwide. He or she promotes good practices on the rights of indigenous peoples, addresses violations by communicating with governments and others, and recommends ways to prevent these violations. Any individual, group, civil society organization, intergovernmental entity, or national human rights bodies can submit information about violations on the rights of indigenous peoples to the special rapporteur. You can do this by using the special procedure submission online form, which can also be sent via email. Please note the importance of documenting community testimonies whenever possible and to include them with your submissions. In November 2020, the UN system once again stated its commitment to support the rights and well being of Indigenous peoples. It endorsed a call to action to build an inclusive and sustainable future with Indigenous peoples. In practice, this means that the UN is ready and willing to support countries to promote, protect, and realize the rights of Indigenous peoples. In our changing and challenged world, we need to seek and apply the wisdom of the practices of Indigenous peoples who have safeguarded their lands for the benefit of all of us. Indigenous peoples' forests are better conserved and their territories contain 80% of the world's biodiversity. Their lived experience of being one with nature can help guide us through the planetary emergencies we are now facing. If you're an Indigenous peoples representative, we invite you to make use of the resources mentioned in this course. If you're not, I invite you to become an ally for our present and future generations. We've got no time to lose. Keep in mind that the success of international agendas, agreements, treaties, and declarations, such as the Sustainable Development Agenda, the Paris Climate Change Agreement, the CBD, and other human rights treaties and declarations, especially the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, also need your support for its implementation at the local and national levels. On behalf of Tribal Link Foundation, the Project Access Family, and the United Nations Development Program, home. thank you. Thank you.